Hello everyone, Ray Waldo here, the Bishop Technology, and today we're looking at the T-Mobile uh, uh, 4G Galaxy S2. Now this is not uh, uh, LTE, but it is 4G by uh, T-Mobile's estimation, and supposedly gets up to 42 megabytes of uh, connection, so that's pretty fast on, on um, Verizon and uh, uh, my MiFi, I get... Uh, maybe about 12 at the best so uh, if you get 42 on this that's that's even better than LTE right now of course they'll be getting better this is the monthly day you know I just bought this this is not a uh, a device that you get from an upgrade so this is a monthly and uh, here we're just unboxing it this just opening up and it is amazingly light uh, I think I read that it weighed four ounces or something like that. Um, so let's see what we got in here. Uh, all the miscellaneous and sundry little stuff, the books and uh, whatever. And here's what we're really looking for is the battery. And of course you've got uh, connector and, uh, and the uh, USB block. Except that it's uh, black rather than white, you can kind of understand why uh, iPhone thinks that <laughs> Samsung has copied them a little bit. So, you know, that looks very much like the other one. Anyway, uh, we'll take care of that later. We just want the battery right now. So, we're going to unbox this thing, take it apart, open it up, put the battery in, see how it works. So, we don't need this. And as I said, this is... Uh, Probably should have read how. There we go. Uh, that's real flimsy and light. That's just real little light plastic there. Which uh, I'd read that this thing was built pretty substantial, but uh, that is not substantial at all. That is very, very light. And uh, at any rate, and that puts a little bit more heft to it uh, by putting the battery in there. Now, I didn't see the SIM card. There should be a SIM card in here. So we may have a problem here. Okay. Uh, they sent me the time with the uh, the talk time with the uh, in electronic. I'll have to go downstairs and get another uh, SIM card. But just before we stop here, I'll uh, take a look here and uh, this is where your uh, SD card goes, I assume. It looks like that's what that is right there. Uh, let's see. Micro SD, yeah. So the micro SD and the SIM card goes here. Uh, of course that's probably a, a microphone. And this is your rear facing camera and the flash. And it's an 8 megapixel camera on the back. And I think it's a three on the front. Uh, well, while we got it, uh, we'll just go ahead and, and turn it on. I uh, assume the battery is charged up. Uh, there's power. So we'll go ahead and power it on and see how it looks. Coming up, Samsung Galaxy S2. 4G from, and of course this is Android, of course. A little music in the background. Okay. So, uh, anyway, this is uh, this is monthly. Three. Uh, okay, there we go. We're starting up, and it's nearly charged. So that's good. Uh, there is uh, no connection, of course, and uh, we'll have to get that working. But uh, this is uh, supposedly works on a special. Uh, deal with Walmart for $30 a month you get unlimited truly unlimited data uh, after I think 5 megabits uh, 5 gigabits, uh, gigabytes I believe uh, 5 gigabytes or something like that then it starts slowing you down 
in the access speed. If you got uh, 42, which I'm sure it won't, but uh, if you whatever you got uh, at at the uh, normal speed, you won't get that in after you draw down five gigabytes. Then you'll get something slower, probably about dial up, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, uh, $30 a month and you get unlimited data, unlimited texting, and a hundred minutes of talk time. Now for a lot of people, that's not going to be enough. Uh, of course, you can get 10 cents a minute, which is still pretty cheap. Uh, but for me, a hundred minutes is all I talk on the phone. I don't use the phone very much, just occasionally. Uh, data is what I do. I do a lot of data. So, uh, Unlimited data for me is the ideal, and uh, I've been looking for a plan like this. Now, the problem may be T-Mobile doesn't, T -Mobile doesn't have a real big footprint in non-metro areas. Uh, they cover almost all the metros and a lot of the interstates, but if you look at their coverage map, you get out into the rural areas, which I live in a rural area, uh, their coverage is really kind of spotty in places, and I'm right on the verge. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get coverage here or not. If I don't, you know, here is not really a problem because I've got Wi-Fi. I can pick up Wi-Fi, and they got free calling on Wi-Fi with T-Mobile. So that's not an issue. I can use it all I want here. But if I can't get connection out when I'm driving or something and can't roam, then that could be a problem, you know, for safety issues. Anyway. So uh, the next time we'll have the SIM card in and uh, see what it looks like to run. Um, this is Ray Waldo, raywaldo.com. See you next time. Bye.